Did you see that? Did you see all those passes Larry number four did in the first turn? Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> Run faster! Time's a wasting, man. Let's go! Yay! <laughs> Bad news, guys. Larry's coming with us to the track tonight. Hello. Why don't you tell everybody what you're riding tonight? My no more YZ85. Nope. Right there. Anyone wants to buy it? Let me know. Anyone wants to buy that? It's never been raced fast. It's never gone over the top three. <laughs> Here's the deal, man. You wreck yourself in the first butt. I'm gonna race for you in the second. Fits. Luke, check out my new favorite TikTok ever. I just found it. Dude, I freaking know this. You follow her? I followed her on accident. I can't unfollow now because like I accidentally did it and that'd be rude. One, two, three, four, five classes. Five classes? 170. 170, perfect. All right, thank you. Your goggles? No. All right, guys, so I'm taking a little bit of a break from editing this video to offer a little bit of a disclaimer. Here's the thing. It rained on and off during that night and like racing and riding when it's raining on and off is one thing, but trying to film a video, it's just, it's almost impossible. When it started raining, I put away my cameras and I just used my phone and I was just trying to film with my phone to protect my equipment. And then the microphone on my phone got wet and the audio stopped working. And then the GoPro footage was almost useless because the lenses got caked with mud. Those microphones got plugged with water too. So the audio from the GoPro footage is, is hit and miss in and out. I put all this footage together and I looked at it. I was like, you know what? This, this is trash. This, I can't, I can't use it. I can't do, I can't do a race vlog. I don't have enough footage. I missed gate drops. I missed shots. I couldn't find the kids on the track and I was almost just going to scrap it and I was going to throw everything away and just be like, oh, well, we don't need to make a video out of this day. And I, I sat on it for a few days and I went back and I watched it again. And I watched it again. And I'm like trying to think like, what can I, is there anything I could do? Is there any way I could use this footage? And you know what? As far as the race footage goes, does it make any sense? I can't put it together and have it make sense. So, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a montage. It's going to, I'm putting together a little race montage. It's not going to make sense. You're not going to know who's, what position people are in, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to throw this out there just so that we can get it done and then move on to the next video. So sorry guys, disclaimer, just a race montage. And uh, I almost didn't post it, but you know, now I did obviously. To my, uh, Shoes are all wet. Not a great start for Mason in his first ever 65 junior race. Does a little bit of bar bang and takes someone out. He's going, but uh, so the rain. The rain's coming down. I'm guessing Mason went down. It must have been a bad race for him out there because he still hasn't come by the checkered flag yet. Yeah, I don't think Mason really enjoyed that. 
that one. I'd say that's probably, it's probably one of his least fun races he's ever done. actually okay so Mason got last in moto one in his first ever junior race which I wasn't surprised about because he was way off the path he was way off the pace uh, Luke was second to last in uh, super mini mid pack and junior Lillian was mid pack in super mini and first in her women's class next up let's see how Larry does Oh, there he is, number four. Larry on his sexy green machine. Number four did in the first turn. Man, he's good. Well, the rain cleared up, and honestly, I think the track conditions are gonna be pretty good from here on out. The disadvantage is that it rained just enough to get everything thrashed. Goggles, our kids' goggles are thrashed, helmets, boots are messy. The trailer, the rain came, we just threw everything into the trailer to keep it dry. My trailer's a mess, like, just gonna be extra work cleaning the bikes, cleaning the trailer, but we'll just worry about that tomorrow, I guess. Got a uh, fresh pair of goggles here for Mason. Hopefully he has a better experience this time. Hopefully moto number two goes a little bit better for him. Lillian's complaining of her hand hurting. She said that there was a pole sticking out onto the track and she hit it with her fist as she went by. Now her hand hurts. We're gonna attempt to run some GoPros again, see if we can get some decent footage, but tonight's like one of those nights where I just, I can't stress about getting a banger video done. It's just out of your control, man. You just don't always know what's gonna happen. Tonight's not really working out for the footage. The kids are struggling on the track. I'm struggling getting clips. The Miles, what's up, bro? Hey, I need those boots. We gotta come in and get those boots. As the lights come on here Thursday night, what? Is out. One more to go. I can't hear you at all. Again, just Not the best off the line, but he made up for it down the start straight. Mason out here being cautious. He's a pretty decent mud rider, so he's doing okay. But to be honest with you, he's a little bit more than overdue for a new rear tire.
Larry, how'd your race go? Funny? Yeah. I did terrible. It was so muddy. It was so muddy and slick. I thought I told you not to wear white t-shirts anymore. If it starts raining, this video is going to get demonetized. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a shot of you on the first turn. You passed like five people in the first turn. I think everyone went down. True. <laughs> I got your last lap pass on camera. Thank you. You passed that uh, Honda up on the inside. Yeah. Jumped over the, like halfway over the, you like halfway jumped the tabletop and I got it all on film. <laughs> yeah, man. I actually did too. All right guys, so one more moto left for tonight and honestly, this could be the best one. So let me kind of set the stage. It is the women's class. Lillian is doing a women's amateur and I got to back up to uh, last week. So last week, Lillian won the first moto, but then some girl that no one knows showed up, 161 I think, showed up and um, beat her in the second moto. They went one, two and two, one. So Lillian got second, but the, the interesting thing about it is that, okay, so Lillian, one first moto, second moto, gets a bad start, catches up to first, then makes a mistake, fades back. Catches up again, and then hits like a, a PVC pipe on the side of the track. Uh, that messes her up, he loses ground again. Catches up one more time to 151 on the last lap, gets right up to her through the rhythm section, and then makes a bad choice, and gets hung up by a lapper, gets second, loses the race, and the overall. Okay, that was last week. This week, the exact same thing happened in Moto 1, Lillian 1. Now, she's got to back it up again, because if 161 beats her again, and she gets two second places back to back, she's not gonna be happy. So Lillian has got to win, or at least stay ahead of 161 in this next moto. <laughs> We're sailing for Lillian. We got right over here. We got 161 right over here. All right, I was wrong. It happens sometimes. That was not that entertaining. Uh, Lillian was basically just on cruise control all alone, 161. Quite a ways behind her, but hey, 161 killed Lillian uh, last week at Washougal, like destroyed her. I didn't know. I mean, this is weird. Like Lillian does better here. She does better at Washougal. I don't know. Girls, you know? Hey, Lil. What? Good job. I think you won. I did. 161 was way behind you. I wasn't even like trying, trying. I was just being stupid. I can tell, yeah, you weren't really trying. Well, I was it's really hard hoping. To. I know. I was hoping for a really good battle between you two tonight, but it just didn't happen. But good job. Do you want me to wait up for her? Yeah. Are you the only one that got a trophy? They time? gave you the race results? Yeah, I asked you to get the results. He took them down. Yes, he did. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and peace out.